Hi, I'm Gulnara and welcome back to my studio. Uh, in this video, I decided to walk you through my sketchbook for the month of May. Uh, for the first time, I decided to participate in Mermaid. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Mermaid is, um, it's a fun ch art challenge where you can follow a prompt list or don't follow a prompt list, but you paint a mermaid a day for 31 days in May and I've never stuck to an art challenge like where I would paint every single day um, for a specific theme so I decided to challenge myself this year and give it a try and I'm extremely proud of myself for sticking to it and doing 31 uh, drawings in this Trathmore sketchbook. It's the first time I'm also using Strathmore sketchbook and you can see huh, like, it's all full and colorful and pretty and I'm very excited to share it with you. If you've been following if you've been following me on, on Instagram, you'd see me post every single day all of my sketches. I used watercolors, colored pencils and um, I followed a prompt list uh, by an artist. Uh, her name is Caroline. I'll put a link to her Instagram below but yes I decided to follow prompt list because I figured since I'm gonna do this art challenge I need some help with coming up with the ideas about what to paint every single day and um, for the past couple of years I tried to do Inktober in October which is the same similar thing where you stick to uh, painting every single day for a whole month of October and uh, just using ink but for mermaid but I would always fail like I would give up after maybe two weeks and I would not stick through the whole month so again like I said this year I started 365 days art challenge and it also coincided with the mermaid without further ado um, let me show you my sketchbook so for this art challenge I used my Strathmore watercolor sketchbook um, it's the first time I used the sketchbook. Uh, I'll talk more about how I like it or don't like it in a minute. Uh, all the art supplies I will link uh, below in the description below. I used my watercolor brushes. Um, all of them are Princeton watercolor brushes. So size two, uh, size two round brush, size six round brush, and. Oh, I gotta wash this one. And size 16 round brush. It's been dirty. And a flat square size, sheesh, I don't know, three and a quarter. Uh, these two, of course, I use for the backgrounds because it's a big sketchbook. It's something I'm not used to. I don't need, I never had a sketchbook this big. Most of my sketchbooks are much smaller. Uh, so because of that, I had to use bigger brushes. And then, of course, for the details, I used uh, the little round brushes. So that's that. And then for watercolors, I usually use Sennelier uh, French watercolors in all of my illustrations. But then I was like, let me play with this old set that I haven't used in a long time. It's much cleaner now because I kind of rebuilt my whole palette and I will have a separate video of how I built my palette. But it was the same as uh, when I was uh, painting my mermaid challenge. Um, and it's all mixed with different brands. There is some Sennelier, there is of course Windsor Newton, there are some extremely cheap ones. So it's a total mix and match of watercolors. And since this was an art challenge that I want to use, I want since this was not a commission work or any artwork that I was planning to sell, I didn't care about uh, the quality of watercolors. I just cared about the different uh, vibrancy. I never used so many shades, and I think that was extremely fun to play with because I usually just use four or five colors and then I mix them myself. 
um, but it was fun to play with all these different shades of blue that I had, different shades of red, and look at this yellow. I think right here I have like four different brands of watercolors. So overall it was extremely fun, um, and that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to have fun more than anything. As I said, I followed a prompt list, and um, here's the first page. Here's my sticker. For those of you who don't know, I make my own stickers and I sell them on Etsy. So uh, this was one of the first stickers that I made. And of course, it's Hedgehog and Unicorns, the name of my channel. Um, so the real quick about the quality of the paper, it's pretty thick. Uh, it holds watercolors pretty well. Uh, you always have to, of course, attach it to something hard so it doesn't warp because it will warp uh, f um, because of the water. But um, it's very smooth texture. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty. So I would say it's um, hot pressed. Um, I don't remember the GSM. Uh, I'll put the information in the description below. So the first prompt was draw it in your style. And uh, that was day one. And that was my 50, you will see numbers here at the bottom where it says like here's 15 out of 365 because I said this is um, doing the 365 days of art challenge and this was day 15 but day one of mermaid and I painted the mermaid that Caroline painted so just did it in my own style. Here on the left side you can see how I was playing with different um, styles. I don't paint people often. Um, I. I don't like to paint realistic people. I've done that, but I don't enjoy painting strangers because uh, I don't know what to do with them afterwards. <laughs> so I like to do more cartoonish style uh, illustrations of characters. Um, I know it's weird. And the color palette was the same as the color palette that was in Caroline's sketch because again, it was... Um, creating your own style um, this design effect that I have water stuff I used the masking fluid and yeah it was fun um, it was good to dip my feet in water um, I was kind of hesitant to cover the whole page you will see later how I cover full pages but in the beginning it started always just like this piece uh, so that was my first uh, the second one uh, the prompt was um, octopus yes octopus so for some reason I decided to follow the same color scheme as here as you can see and I painted the girl I was not very happy with the colors I wasn't happy with the composition but I was still getting in the habit of painting like forcing myself to paint every day you can see me here playing with different eye expressions with different octopuses and here I kind of like did a little sketch of like actual drawing here the hair was definitely a challenge um and that's one thing that i wanted to focus in this challenge for myself is to paint better hair and also uh play i think it was after this i decided to start forcing myself to play with different color palettes so day three the prompt was starfish and there's my little, little cutie here you can see on the left I did a little swatch of how I wanted to do a pos uh, composition and you will see that a lot of the times where I was not sure about the composition I would first sketch it out on the left side I'm weird like that I like to paint watercolors only on one side because you can see that uh, this paper after it warps it kind of holds this warped feeling and I didn't want it in my drawings I didn't want this affect my drawing because it would so hence I use it for my color swatches and for actual sketches so here uh, the color palette was much better I was happier with it I was not happy with the hair uh, so that was still needed to be to have more improvement but I was happy with this little guy look how cute this one is next was day four and day four How's that was already day? Yeah, day four. Wow, we're going quick. Day four was, uh, the prompt was shark. And I like the sharks. Here we can see I'm getting more tentative. I'm getting, I guess, more brave. Uh, and I'm covering the full page. And I was like, oh my God, there is so much 
real estate here. Um, so I started adding the bubbles, kind of fill the space. I was not happy with this section right here, I was not happy with the tail, but I did like the gradient, the color gradient. So this is the colors that I stuck with. One thing that I decided to do is to force myself to do bright colors and limit the palette to only a few colors and um, force myself to think outside the box. So hence the sharks ended up being blue and pink. Uh, and I was really happy with this section. Um, she still needed some more work. I was still figuring out my character. And you will see how by, um, let me see, in a few uh, more sketches you will see how my style changed. And that's what's, what's fun about art challenges is that you learn from your own mistakes and you get better. So day five was dolphin and I totally slacked. I used the same color palette as here. And cause again, I was like trying to figure out what should I focus on? Should I focus on the hair? Should I focus on characters? Should I, well, I was still very lost. I was very happy with the colors on the actual dolphin. All this kind of like texture effect that I did. Was not happy still with the background here. I'm trying to still cover it, but I'm like, this is messy. This is just doesn't work for me. But I'm still figuring out her tail was kind of weird. Like same here, it was just not working. And then day six prompt was, uh, was the, uh, what is it called? Sea line, I think, yes. So here, I finally figured out why wouldn't I use a washi tape? Brilliant, right? It makes it so much cleaner. Like, look at the difference. Messy, clean. It's just funny. It's like you put frame around anything and it looks like art. Um, seriously, like, get any squiggly drawing you have put on a frame, it's gonna look great. So here again, like I said, I forced myself to pick a very unusual color palette. So hence, I picked these ones, see I was mixing the colors and this is not the green that I wanted, I wanted more of a, this color. And then I matched, so it's like here we have three colors and then they're different shades. And of course sea lines are not this color, but uh, I liked, the, this is, was the first page, so it's day six and I was finally happy with the color palette. Color palette worked, I like this dude. I like the hair, finally my hair getting much better. And you will also notice I started using ink like up to here everything was just watercolors and colored pencils but here i started using also ink and it get, got gave me a little bit more dimension and i was much more happier also like the texture i did on the water day seven this was my by far the most favorite sketch i was extremely happy with the color palette you can see that i did not even sketch it on the left i had this image in my head the prompt was of course a turtle sea turtle and I just had this idea in my head that there will be, I don't know if you say school of, like school of fish, school of turtles, or I don't know how to say many turtles swimming and you would have the depth effect. And then my mermaid will be just laying on top. So here I finally, say, I think it was, where did it start? I think it started on day five where I stopped drawing a mouth. And uh, I like that, I like that a lot. And from here on, you will see that all of my mermaids don't have a mouth. I don't know why, but this was designed that I settled in for. So after day seven, all my mermaids were in this style. The um, tail got a little bit more thinner and all of them would have very different, like they were not the same design, but in the same style. Um, again, you can see I'm using ink and I really like, the color combination of turquoise and blue and yellow and orange and again it's only a few colors and having a limited color palette was exciting and a lot of fun so this was my by far favorite this was next and another thing i wanted to do is i did not want to repeat the color schemes back to back i would come back to this color scheme a little bit later but i wanted to force myself to do the next one do a different one so this one was uh prompt was of course jellyfish and uh, here you can see I did a little swatch. Uh, I kind of imagined the, all the jellyfish floating to the top and my mermaids will be on the left. This was the color palette that I picked. And as you can see, I stuck to it. So it's only just two colors. And I've never used this color combination of mint green and 
pink and I think it looked beautifully together and I was very happy with this sketch. Um, it took quite a bit, but again, like you can see, I stuck to the frames. This one, uh, I kind of flipped it around the color palette just a touch. Uh, the green color is not as minty as this is almost like lime green and this is more of a mint green I think but um, prompt was muscles and I was like what do I do with muscles so I googled and um, I found inspiration where muscles would grow on this long kelp I think that was kelp uh, that grows under the ocean so that's how I kind of brought it in and you can see my bubbles have making another appearance I kind of tested her she swim down so another thing is I wanted to play with different positions of my character so here she's laying here she's swimming up here she's diving down so again this was very a lot of fun which forced me to play with the whole hair movement and you can see I'm getting much better um, I'm feeling like much more confident with my characters and compositions and colors Day 10 was eel. I was in Palm Springs. I had uh, I actually have a video of me painting this guy in Palm Springs. I have a video. I was trying to um, record every single sketch, but then it became impossible because I was traveling. I had to do go to auditions because uh, I'm an actress here in Los Angeles. So my schedule is extremely unpredictable. So I had to just come to terms that I would not be able to paint uh, to record every single sketch, uh, but I would do a walkthrough later on. I was very happy with this color palette. It was more earthy colors and uh, the prompt was uh, electric eel and I really love this color, these colors a lot. I love the green, I love the orange. Uh, here me matching colored pencils to the watercolors. So I first would do water, uh, color pencils and I would match watercolors to them. I did a little swatch and yeah, so I was very happy with this guy. Day 11 and 12 was a weekend and I was on, in Palm Springs so again um, I had to just work with a limited amount of time uh, so you can see I did this little sketch here I did a swatch for colors right here for the first one and this color swatch for the other one this one is a little bit similar to kind of mix of this color and this so you can see there's more of a turquoise green prompt for this one was um, clownfish and prompt for this one was stingray stingray or no I think it was Monterey Monterey and that was the prompt for this one really love this one I know it's such a small but I just like the feeling I feel like she's soaring up into the ocean and you can see some bubbles right behind her so I was very happy with this one this one was not as good I think I put a lot of energy into this one and for this one I was tired <laughs> so I kind of was a cop out with little tiny of course Nemo inspired sketch um, this one was uh, prompt was hammer shark I totally was not happy with this one I like the colors I did not like the composition and here you can see I tried something like this I probably should have stuck with this one where she's sitting and reaching to the sharks somehow she ended up holding the shark's fin I'm not sure what's happening here uh, she's kind of like floating and the shark is like why are you holding my fin um, yeah I don't know what's happening here I think I was getting tired after all it's day 13 of my challenge so I was probably busy or just was not feeling it uh, this day 14 the prompt was sword fish so um, I decided to keep it simple uh, I did a little swatch I imagined her holding a trident and the swordfish to be around her as her guard and her being a badass and I really like this hair it's so intense I wish I had that much hair um but I really liked it I added a little bit of gold I don't know if you can see but see the shiny that was fun to add some gold um I don't usually use a lot of gold in my sketches but this was a lot of fun and uh oh okay <laughs> This one is um, prompt was uh, hermit crab, and I decided to do kind of like a story here. I was trying to force myself to do more complicated backgrounds, 
I failed, as you can see, my bag guns were not that complicated and was kind of like empty. But I did like my hermits, I think they're very cute. This I made them obviously gigantic, or I made her tiny. Um, the colors here are a little bit, there were I think too many colors. Here's the swatches that I made, and I probably should have kept it just purple and green. But I kind of went into the pink, and I think it became too busy. I know some people like it. I'm not too happy. I would simplify the colors. I would make them more limited and I would kind of squish them more together composition wise and I would build up the background more. But again, this whole point of this art challenge was to learn. This one, uh, the, prompt fit, the prompt was devil fish. I don't remember. Um, I'll look it up. It's this fish that has that shiny thing and they swim under the darkness. So the story here was, uh, here's my little swatch that she is the scavenger hunter, uh, not scavenger hunter, she's like <sighs> treasure hunter. She's a treasure hunter and these guys are her helpers because obviously she can use them as flashlights and she's in a cave. So. I like this composition. I think the colors work really nicely. I liked all the details in my chest. Did not like this whole area. Um, the whole idea of her being in a cave did not really translate, I think. So I would probably rework this whole thing because I was trying to make it work like the light seeps through from them. That's why it's all dark around, but then the light from entrance to the cave did not go through so again this would have to rework but I do love the hair again you can see I played it was quite a bit of gold um see like her hair and the, they're like uh her scales are also golden so it was fun I like this I like the hair but again this part was a little bit too messy um another one that I didn't feel so this was day 17 the prompt was squid and since I already did octopus I decided uh, to pay homage to Harry Potter because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan so here's our Hogwarts if you didn't catch it <laughs> here's our squid in the lake and of course mermaid so it's like literally straight out of Harry Potter books I like the colors I like that they were calm I think I needed to relax a little so I hadn't I kept it very simple played with the hair on the water I like that I like that there is a squid swimming with her so overall I like this sketch uh, it could have been better background wise but again I was trying not to spend a full day painting but limit myself to like just half an hour to an hour of sketching so I got tired of colors funny enough uh, and I decided to do sketch 18, 19, just black, white, and gold. Um, I guess it was another weekend and I was busy, so I decided to keep two small sketches instead of um, doing one big one. And the prompt for this one was lionfish, which was cool, extremely complicated fish, and the other one was killer whale. Um, it was fun to do this black and white because it kind of almost cleansed my palate. Uh, you know how when you eat sushi you have to uh, eat ginger so it cleanses your palate and you can taste sushi better? Well, if you didn't know, that's something that I learned <laughs> from watching all those sushi movies about sushi. Okay, back to the sketching. So I needed kind of like cleanse my color palette and do just black and white. So then when I came to day 20, I was back to my favorite colors of yellow and green. I've been really excited about green colors lately and I've been a big fan of yellow past year. So the prompt was Pufferfish and I just adore these guys. So the story behind the sketch is the scary story. So she's telling scary stories and of course Pufferfish got, gets scared. They're sitting around um, makeshift fire, but this is like, what are they called? Water gazers? water something like the thing that pumps air in the water under the sea and then they're surrounded by kelp instead of like forest so i was really happy with the sketch um i love them i love all the greenery i love the color palette um i like her hair so yes i'm very happy with this sketch next one the prompt was of course the seahorse Love the color palette. They remind me a lot of um, candy canes. Uh, I think this was very popular on Instagram. 
The only difference I would make is that I would make her tail contrast. I'd probably make her hair pink because it's on the turquoise instead of turquoise and her tail turquoise so that there is more contrast. So I would just flip it. But other than that, I'm very happy with the texture. I put some salt. So hence we can see this cool texture here. And I'm happy with the composition and I'm happy with the colors. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm happy with the hair. Um, it's funny, like she becomes progressively smaller and smaller because other things get bigger. But so yes, this one was fun. Uh, this one, day 22. God, I don't remember the prompt for this one. Crab. So I wanted to tell a story again. Uh, so I decided to do a knitting circle. Uh, don't ask me why they would be sitting and knitting, but hey, it's a magical world. They're knitting scarves on the water. Uh, I love the color palette, because again, we're going back to my blue, turquoise, and yellow. And um, here are my swatches. I always do a little swatch, so I know what the colors will be. Here, I like pretty much everything. Um, I'll probably play more with the background, uh, but overall, pretty happy with this one. Um, I think this dude is pretty cool. He's really into his um scarf so yeah i uh, love my bubbles bubbles are always fun love bubbles but yeah it probably will work, work a little bit more on the background so this was day 23 uh the prompt was subtitle fish which like swims in a big school of fish i don't remember the name um so I imagine her swimming like a little mermaid, but like up, we can see like panning down from the top down and she's going through like wide to narrow. Idea was good. I think execution could have been better. I like the colors, but um, if I would redo this again, I would layer it up differently because with watercolors, you have to be careful how you layer fish. Uh, not just fish, but how you layer things because then it becomes messes up with your perspective. So I kind of messed up with the perspective because I did in outside first in and instead I would do inside fish first and then layer up outside fish on top because then that would make much more sense. Uh, so that's the lesson that I learned from this one. And I think I would, because then it would make it... Otherwise, it's just like confusing where the top or the bottom is and that's because of how I layered the fish and where I started. So I would just do it differently. Like I would start from, like I said, inside and then I would finish top on the top and then they will layer up pretty nicely. But her, she's doing great. I think the hair worked nicely. I like her hair, hands position and arms position. The color is good. Um, I like this green, pink, and purple. This one actually worked out better. I think I was trying to do similar to this guy that was not... This is much better because there is only one highlight of green instead of so many. Uh, so that was me kind of like retrying this color palette. Now day 24. Mm. The prompt was this fish. Oh, I don't remember her name. Oh, Napoleon fish. Napoleon fish. So, hence the monocle. I don't know if Napoleon had a monocle, but I gave the fish monocle. And again, this is just a little story. They're following little little shells. It's almost like I don't. If you've seen Finding Dory, there were shells. So it's again, it's a homage to. You. Uh, there was a Finding Nemo, this one is Finding Dory, hence the color scheme and like is in Dory kind of world. So you can see blue, yellow, and green. We have our jellyfish. I really like how jellyfish turned out. I like the hills with the stripies. Um, not happy with herself because she kind of like everything took so much more of my attention than her. So I redo her and I don't like the floor. Starting to do like the color. I didn't want to use the um, masking fluid because masking fluid doesn't work that well on this paper. But in the end it turned out looks like as if there are big stones on the floor. But that's not what I was trying to paint. So I would redo this piece. Like this floor. But other than that colors are good. Jellies are good. And the background is nice. Um, but yes she kind of like did not get as much of my attention as other pieces. Slowly getting there. So this was day 25 and the prompt was um, penguins. 
So here's our little cute pink penguins. The color palette I picked is just simple pink and turquoise. Here's my little swatch that I had ideas that they will be just playing and she'll be in the water. So here's a little baby penguins. They're a little baby shifaji. I really like the hair on this lady and I really like the water. So uh, I love the clouds here. Uh, so overall, I'm really happy with this sketch. I think the colors were good, the composition was good, and the attention to details was good. So this was a solid one. <laughs> I'm proud. Now day 26 prompt was uh, urchin, right? Like those like spiky things. They're black, but I decided to make them yellow because uh, it's more fun. Uh, so here's my color palette of yellow, blue, uh, and turquoise and orange. I was lazy, let's be real here. Um, She's okay. I got finally bigger because she was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So I finally got back to making her like normal size. <laughs> and then I just put orchids all over her, around her as if they're glowing. But I could have done more work on the background. At least I could have done some salt effect where it would get textured. So I would redo that. But color wise and composition wise is good. It just needs a little bit more oomph on this one. And day 27 was uh, Moonfish. So I decided to take a break from actual mermaid. And I think that kind of maybe breaks the idea of the art challenge of painting a mermaid every single day. But I was like, screw that. I'm going to paint a lot of Moonfish. Because I wanted to play with layering effect. And I was tired. Uh, and it was day 41 out of my 365 days of straight out everyday painting and day 27 so I was like I'm gonna cut myself some slack and just paint what the hell I want so I painted the prompt which was moonfish and I stuck with just two colors just blue and red that's it there are no other color here and I just played it with different um, opacity and I think it looked cool they look almost like they all look transparent even though they're not in real life and that's not their actual color uh, I just like this color and they look like almost like popsicles and that made me very happy. In the same vein, the next day, uh, day 28, the prompt was Dory. Shit, I forgot her real name. Okay, I googled it and I remember I remembered and then I forgot. So I'll put it in a minute. So I decided to do uh, a school of Dory's. Um, and again, uh, here transparency didn't work that well because I think I forgot what I was trying to achieve. So I just ended up putting way too much opacity on them. So they're not as transparent as I wanted them to be. But I still had a lot of fun painting my favorite Dory. She's awesome. Um, day 29 was... Oh my god, I'm blanking, I'm so tired. I'll put the name right there. So here's my color palette. I decided to go back to the mint and pink. And these amazing creatures, they make these air bubbles. If you didn't know, Google that and you will see them blow bubbles and they're freaking magical. So here me <laughs> painting her, playing with them. I'm really happy with the composition. I like the color. I like the texture effect. I like that it's simple, but yet it still has... Um, enough details to make it interesting so I was pretty happy with this one day 30 was coral so hence I was so busy painting corals that I forgot to paint actual mermaid here leg legit I was planning to paint her but I forgot I, again there are so many different corals and fishes and jellies that I was like oh right so Forgive me for forgetting to paint her, but I think overall it's fun. I like the colors. I like that it's so vibrant and different. Um, I love my bubbles and I put the check soul texture effect. So this was fun to paint. And last day, the prompt was free. So hence I painted jellies and manta rays floating up and her as if they're free and I was free from painting mermaids at this one I was very tired of painting mermaids um, and I went back to my favorite color palettes which is turquoise blue orange and yellow and I was very happy with the sketch I was very happy to see how far I've come from the first one like 
you can see the difference. And it's a lot about forcing yourself to try different things, which is try different color palettes, try different compositions, try force yourself to paint things that you don't usually paint, which in my case is mermaids, and I don't really paint underwater creatures that often. And I was extremely happy with what I learned and just the final effect of having all these cool sketches. And then the last two pages, I had, I only had two pages left. So I used some, this is watercolor ink. So I just painted some jellies. Uh, and then another one I just painted a squid because I really liked painting uh, octopus or squid. I think this is octopus. And I went back to my color palette and then I just wanted to finish my sketchbook on a high note. So yes, um, this was my mermaid. Um, this was my mermaid sketchbook and I think this was a lot of fun. I got like I learned a lot and I feel very proud of myself for sticking for so long and actually painting every single day. If you've never participated in any of the art challenges, I highly recommend doing that at least for one month because you do learn a lot and you end up with amazing collection of fun sketches to look at. Thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, please let me know what you think uh, in the comments below i would love to read uh, your thoughts and ideas and yes wish me luck for the rest of the year i still have a lot of days to go with my um, art challenge 365 art day challenge and yes um i hope to see you around bye